Hello everyone, my name is Zach. I am the Traveling Man and today we're here at Dollywood for their 2022 Flower and Food Festival. We're going to walk around, uh, show you what food's available, show you what new topiaries they have because they do have some new things this festival. Also going to show you some of the improvements and updates that the park has made for 2022 because I haven't made it out yet for the 2022 season. And I'm also going to show you some construction that's already started on Dollywood's major project for 2023. They have uh, big news coming down the pike. I already have heard a little bit of it, but you're going to want to see this. They've already started some construction, so I'm going to give you a little bit of tour of the construction work today. It's not the resort. It's actually a ride here in the park. So if you're ready, come on, let's get this adventure started. Still haven't gotten my season pass. I ordered it back in, I think, October, November. I renewed it for 2022, but haven't gotten it printed yet. So we got to stop first here at the ticket booth right up front and get my season pass and all the perks and tickets and bring your friend passes that it comes with. So that's what we're gonna do first. Then we're gonna go into the park and check out Flower and Food Festival. The third year that it's been featured here at Dollywood, it was about the same the first two years. Uh, the first year uh, the festival actually premiered when the park opened back up after COVID. The park opened in June with Flower and Food Festival. Pretty much the same festival last year. But this year there are new things. There are new topiaries all around the park. So we're gonna show you all that and uh, just enjoy this rainy spring day here at Dollywood. Marks of this whole festival is the umbrella sky that Dollywood puts up here uh, we're just inside the park the entrance is right back here uh, so then you come over here and you have all the umbrellas fun to stand under today because it does actually serve a purpose and block some of the rain uh, however I do notice that it doesn't go back as far it ends a lot earlier than it has in years past uh, but they do have um, some I guess hooks up there for more let me zoom in a bit here and see if you can see that right back there uh, there's room for them to put more umbrellas, but they haven't. However, it does look like they're going to have a kite sky. They're going to replace these umbrellas with kites. And uh, those will be up here for Dollywood Summer Celebration, which starts in June and continues throughout the summer. In recent videos to Dollywood, I've told you about some staff shortages, which have led to long lines with food and eateries around the park, leading to a lot of them actually being closed. This is one of the ways that Dollywood is trying to alleviate that a little bit this year. You see here, picnic on the park, or picnic in the park rather. They have wraps, sandwiches, parfait, snacks, and drinks. So these are just little stations of grab and go stuff. They have chips over there. They have a lot of drink stations here. So this is just, um, there's some sandwiches there in that last container. You know, you can come out here and get a sandwich or a drink. It's not gonna take a long time for them to prepare that food. And it, the hope is, what Dollywood's aiming to do with this is to make things a little bit quicker uh, when in regards to food around the park.
some good news uh, for this season is they have reopened the kettle corn stand. This is one of my favorite places to get a snack in the park because I love the kettle corn that they make it here. Uh, it's handmade on the property and we'll go look at it right now. Uh, but it's actually reopened. It's been closed for the past uh, year or so. But uh, good to see that they're making the kettle corn again and you can buy it in all different sizes. Just looking at all the different food they're offering for flower and food festival you can see all that food noted by the festival fair booths around uh, the last one had all sorts of different mac and cheese which looked really good and uh here they have an open face bulgogi sloppy joe they have the korean barbecue nachos a spicy korean barbecue meatball and a raspberry boba tea i will say that these uh barbecue nachos this is replacing the bulgogi nachos that they had last year which were so good they actually had pieces of steak on them uh, but it looks like they've actually replaced this year those bulgogi nachos with these korean barbecue and instead they've introduced uh, bulgogi sloppy joe so this looks like it incorporates some of the same elements of the nachos but in a different format so i'm not sure I'm, i like that i wish they had the nachos so uh, check out all the festival food if you're coming to flower and food This is the first new topiary we'll come to today. This is Busy Busy Bees. See the beekeeper here? And then these giant bees with these cool wings. Very nice to see Dollywood adding more and more to this festival each year. Since Granny Ogle's Ham and Beans was closed, we went with their suggestion and went with a Hickory House Barbecue, something I've actually never tried before. Uh, for $12.99, this is the barbecue sandwich. It comes with fries and a pickle. And then I got the pork french fries. So these are loaded french fries, barbecue pork on them, with some chives, and it also comes with some sour cream. This was also $12.99. And then I also picked up my season pass cup. This came with my gold pass and I uh, get unlimited refills today and if you want to upgrade to unlimited drinks it's something like $16 and you can get unlimited drinks all season long. Now that we have lunch naturally it's time for dessert so I'm gonna go in no line shockingly we'll look back here no line at all for the cinnamon bread one of the best things you can get at Dollywood. So there's the bread uh, this was $9.99 and it comes with an icing if you want an extra icing or apple butter it's $1.49. One thing I will say that I noticed immediately, it came in this brown paper sack, but they pulled it out of a warmer. So they're not making these fresh anymore because they're trying to keep up with the amount of demand that they have, because usually there is a line there. Um, so it's not as warm as it used to be. It used to be really warm, which would keep it very gooey, but I can already tell pressing on it, it's not as gooey as it used to be either. So uh, just a little bit of a inconsistency based upon what we used to know.
Back here is the Hickory House Barbecue. So you're coming up the hill toward Blazing Fury. If you notice, there's a, now just a huge walkway. That's because Dollywood has tore some more buildings out. There were a couple of shops here. There was the characters. You get a character drawn of yourself, but they have demolished all that to make a larger walkway. So uh, we lost some stuff last year when they built that new eatery down there, uh, or, or the new place where you could sit and eat your food. And now we've lost even more in this section of the park this year with the removal of these shops that were here. Also new this year is some signage and a map that they put up here right at Craftsman's Valley, right beside Blazing Fury up to Tennessee Tornado. But there's a map here so you can uh, see where you're at just in case you don't have the Dollywood mobile app on your phone or device. And then they also have an advertisement here for Smoky Mountain Summer Celebration. Kicks off on June 18th and continues through the summer, August 7th. So as I walk around the park, I'm seeing more of the uh, park and picnic things like I showed you when we came in earlier, where you can grab food and go, take food and go, which I think is great. And I commend Dollywood on that because it really has been a lot the past couple years, couple seasons. A lot of restaurants and eateries closed around the park, which made long lines at the places that were open. So it is good to see that they've added those. Um, Regarding other new things for 2022 though, I don't like the new parking lot structure. For those of you who might not know, Dollywood has completely redone the parking lot for 2022. They said to enhance the flow, to improve the flow of traffic throughout their parking lot. However, there are major problems with this, or at least we experienced major problems coming in this morning. Um, it feels like they've maybe taken some of the parking spots away in order to create uh, such a wide road that they created. So uh, not too sure how I feel about that here on the first visit, utilizing that. I think there are some issues that are gonna have to be addressed. It seemed like there was more traffic congestion. There were folks pulling out in front of us uh, in random places. And the probably the most peculiar thing about it all is, is if you miss your parking lot, say you're parking in handicap, if you miss the turnoff for the handicap parking lot, it's a one-way road. You have to go all the way around, back to the front, near where the toll booths are, to, where you pay to get into the parking lot, and back around that way, back around the road. So, not a very good structure that they have for parking at Dollywood. I hope they're thinking about making more improvements to what they have, because I don't feel like it's efficient, and I really don't know what improvements they made. So I'm here now in Wildwood Grove. I normally don't come back to this portion of the park, but we're already seeing construction for Dollywood's 2023 project. And I've seen the uh, sort of the draw up of this, the layout of this ride. And it looks like that Dollywood is developing a major new roller coaster to be built here as part of a Wildwood Grove expansion. And I'm pointing back here because it'll be located back here. Uh, but an expansion project to Wildwood Grove that will include a major new attraction, most likely a large new roller coaster for the park. And we're actually starting to see the footprint of where that might be now. And I'm looking at some uh, scrim that they've already put up some markers for probably where some footers are going to go. So I'm going to show you this and give you a little bit of a construction update for Dollywood's 2023 project. You can see the entrance of Wildwood Grove back that way and we're right here above the little uh, the little bridge and waterfall. That's where I'm standing here. But you can see up the hill there, they put up some scrim. Back here behind this ride, you can see up there on the hill, there's some wood markers up there. So we're essentially going to see a footprint for the 2023 ride uh, that starts back here behind the current Wildwood Grove and the track is going to run along the back side of the current Wildwood Grove all the way back here to up on top of the hill and the clearing up there and there's more markers that you can see if you look closely I'm going to zoom in right here you can see some blue markers back there so Dollywood's starting to mark places where probably footers are going to go uh, the thought is this is going to be a major new family coaster they I think Dollywood has said as much or at least in their proposal to Sevier County. They said it's going to be a major family coaster. So here now beside the entrance to Dragonflyer, there's these lockers here, but you can see uh, this fence right here. I think this is where the continuation of Wildwood Grove is going to be. You just continue walking back this way, and then you can see back behind this fence, um, they've got all sorts of backhoes and excavators back there. If we can uh, focus back there. There we go. So see, they are doing work back there. There is construction ongoing. So that's going to be the expanded Wildwood Grove. So 
let me know down in the comments below what do you think about this uh, 2023 project that Dollywood's working on. It's been rumored now for a while, but I think we're starting to see the actual footprint come to life. We're actually starting to see uh, them marking where they're going to do their work. And I think here this summer we're going to start seeing uh, footers go in for the ride. We're going to start seeing uh, more groundwork done, more landscaping done for the new ride. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Now we're back up here uh, at the very front of Wildwood Grove, back over there. Uh, and you can see the track to Mystery Mine right there. And you can see the scrim and markers come to just about uh, Mystery Mine, the track of Mystery Mine. So that's how large it's going to be. It's going to start way back there and it's going to come all the way over here to this hill. They'll probably knock out some of this hill, I would imagine. Uh, but exciting stuff. Coming to Dollywood in 2023. So out of an abundance of caution, the drop line here, that's Dollywood's drop tower, uh, it's going to be closed for a little bit here in 2022. There's an investigation going uh, regarding an incident that happened with the same uh, drop tower, or one that was made by the same manufacturer as this one, down in Orlando, Florida recently. So until more is... Uh, uncovered about that and Dollywood make sure that their ride is 100% safe they close the ride but uh, not a good location for a ride at Dollywood this is where Timber Tower used to be uh, which opened like in 2006 I think that ride never operated correctly so after years of this area just being vacant they finally added the drop tower and uh, now it's closed too so uh, it just must be a curse place here on property. So coming up here on Chasing Rainbows at Dolly Parton Story. This used to be Dolly's Museum here at the park, but unfortunately um, it's not Dolly's Museum this year. They've actually announced that uh, at least for 2022 they're going to reimagine her museum a little bit. So hopefully we'll see it return. I don't want to see Dolly's footprint on the park completely be removed. Uh, this is one of the coolest things in my opinion about the park. I actually did a tour of the inside a couple years ago, so go and check that out I'll put a link up there you can see there used to be pictures of Dolly here throughout her career in this window and now it's just some flowers and of course across the way here you still have Dolly's closet um, which is where you can go in and get some clothes they even have some Dolly merchandise in there they were selling her perfume last time I came here and then of course here the Dream Song Theater uh, this is where you can actually go and see Dolly's uh, family in Harmonies of the Heart and last year last May when I was here for Flower and Food Dolly was actually here with me in this show and I'll Put a link here to that video so you can see Dolly at Dollywood. First time I ever saw her here at the park. It was amazing. And then of course they have Dolly's bus here where you can tour. So this pretty much here, this section of the park, is where you're going to find the most Dolly. But unfortunately this year, not much Dolly to be found here in her Chasing Rainbows Museum, which is currently closed and uh, being reimagined. That's all we know, but hopefully it will come back soon. So another major change at the park this year is the tunnel right here that you could walk from... Uh, over here in the village, over to Craftsman's Valley, they have taken the tunnel down, sadly. A staple since the beginning of Dollywood. In fact, Dolly's Museum used to be located on top of the hill there, on top of the tunnel, but now it's gone. It's just a standard walkway here. Also new in the uh, village this year, they've taken down a couple of the uh, shops that were here, right here in this area, to put up more seating area where folks can grab food and come out here and have a seat and eat their food. Uh, they've also redone the Victorian pizza place that was here, it's now Iron Horse Pizza. And uh, I never really ate pizza there before, so I'm not sure, you know, how different it might be. But uh, it's a different restaurant now, and they've added more seating area over here. They've taken out the, uh, I think they had the old-timey photo shop here and a couple of other things in this location. They also have some festival food here. They have the Bavarian crab pretzel melt. They have a Mediterranean salad shaker and they have the Southern Chicken Cobb Shaker, all available here at the brand new Iron Horse Pizza. Another new thing around Dollywood this year are these automatic drink dispensers that you can do yourself. So uh, if you have a refillable mug, you can just bring it here and uh, get your own drink as often as you want.
So last year the day for Flower and Food Festival uh, got a flower cupcake. This was $5.99 in the bakery and then a cookie and I messed it up a little bit. He told me it was the icing was fresh on there and I still messed it up. And also got a flower cookie. So a lot of assortments of spring decorated goodies in the bakery to check out. So now the final new thing that we have to look at for 2022 this season is the Emporium which is completely reimagined from what it used to be. So a brand new Emporium, they've laid it out differently uh, to help control crowds. Uh, of course, this is the way that you exit the park. They bring you right through here. Uh, it looks like they've expanded and uh, have a lot more Dolly Parton merchandise now than they used to have because it used to be over there in a the little corner in the back. But now they have a whole section just devoted to Dolly merchandise. They have a checkout counter over here. It reminds me a lot of like a TJ Maxx or Marshalls the way they have that set up. And then they have these huge butterflies up on the ceilings, the pictures all around, um, and then just a lot of merchandise. But it is neat that you don't have to weave in and out of a bunch of aisles of merchandise now to get out of the park. They do have one clear path all the way to the exit, which is right out that door, right over that way. So the new parking lot layout isn't ideal. You have to uh, you see here, this is the only tram stop for the park. This is the main tram stop. So if you're going into or coming out of the park, um, you have to walk from there all the way to over there to enter the park. And that's okay, I guess, but here is handicap parking. And I've already seen and heard a lot of folks complain about the distance, especially for folks in wheelchairs, things like that. Uh, you know, it's hard to get those on the tram uh, to get up closer to the door. And actually the tram's going no further than this. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, they've made this huge area all a tram and a trolley drop-off. There is the Pigeon Forge trolley drop-off up there as well. But it seems like to me they've wasted a lot of precious space. And that's going to wrap up our day here at Dollywood for the 2022 Flower and Food Festival. Folks, if you've never been to Dollywood before, highly encourage you to get down here. Uh, no matter what season of the year, you're going to have a great time. Uh, it's, it's one of my favorite places to go anywhere and I've had a great day, ate a lot of food, saw a lot of flowers, so great festival. I'm so glad that Dollywood is expanding this festival and doing more and more with it each year. Thank you all again for watching and I'll see you on the next adventure.